tapping, sometimes called two-handed tapping, is more certainly more of a advanced technique than a beginner technique. But uh, just to explain what it is, we're going to use our picking hand to fret notes rather than just using our normal fretting hand. So on the example I've got, it shows us playing a tap note of the 12th fret and then another note of the 9th fret. It doesn't specify, actually, it's a, a little bit lacking on this particular example, it doesn't specify that the second note is played using our normal fretting hand, but I'm assuming that it is based upon the, uh, the exercise that we see. So to start off with, using the picking hand it's going to be completely weird to um, fret notes but we're going to use a, a hammer on technique with our, our picking hand to hit the notes so if we just concentrate first of all on the the first note of the two the 12th fret it's uh, 12th fret on your third string and your G string so it's normally if we're going to pick it it's going to be that note but instead I'm going to use one of my fingers on this hand to tap it. So I'm, I'm basically using a hammer on technique with my picking hand. In this instance I'm using my, my, my middle finger. That's what I normally use when I'm trying to tackle a, a tapping piece. The main reason is because I've got a pick in my hand when I'm normally playing. My my first finger isn't available to me, so if I go to tap a note, I'll usually use one of my other fingers. That's my next best finger, so that's what I'll normally use. Even with a pick in my hand. Now on this example, it's the same. I'm going to tap the 12th fret and then play the 9th fret afterwards. So. I'm going to use my normal fretting hand to play the 9th fret, it doesn't matter which finger you use. I'm going to use my, my third finger just for fun. So I'm going to tap and then I'm going to, when I bring that tap off, it's like a pull off to sound the uh, the 9th fret note. does require a little bit of patience practice and you know muscle technique to be able to get those sounding right um, and, and it's as I say it's, it doesn't normally come up in most forms of music I see a lot in in, in metal and guitar instrumental music that I'm, I'm into but other than that it doesn't normally occur but that the idea of using the other hand the great thing about the the concept is it opens up possibilities for you so you can you know there's, there's no there's no rules just because that's your picking hand doesn't mean that it has to always do picking you can use it to do something else as well uh, I did a video just for fun a while ago on the channel I'll see if I can find it to link it of a, a Joe Satriani uh, song that I tried covering where every note was tapped and hammered and pulled there was no picking whatsoever it was called midnight it was something like that and it's fun because it's just a different approach it's a different way of uh, doing things but uh, that's what a tap is normally won't find it in more songs but um, enjoy having a go at it if you've got the patience to learn it 